We walked up to a sturdy stone farmhouse. It was empty and had a for sale sign on it. My wife and I were guiding a group of 80 students on the Camino de Santiago in Spain. Today's theme was solitude, so we walked alone in the heat with our two young children. This was our first time walking the Camino. The history, culture, spiritual community, and challenge drew us to the walk. It felt good to be out here on the trail. It was harder than I thought it'd be. The following year, a million pilgrims were expected to walk on the Camino. We kept walking. I couldn't stop thinking about that farmhouse. And I couldn't stop thinking about all the people that were going to walk by that farmhouse. A crazy dream began to form. I remember the first time we served dinner to a group of pilgrims. We had just finished up work on the old farmhouse. Now it was a warm, comfortable pilgrim's refuge. Dinners were the highlight of the day. The pilgrims around the table were from all over Europe. The conversation was rich, vulnerable, and inspiring. They arrived earlier in the day exhausted. Pilgrims show up with lots of different needs. They need a place to sleep, a place to shower, something to eat, somewhere to rest, conversation, and most importantly, blister care. On the Camino, little things go a long ways. I miss it. They used to call me Juan del Camino. I miss that too. It almost feels like it was in another life. These days, I'm still working on shelter, working on housing for locals in our mountain communities. Monday mornings, I drive over Monarch to Buena Vista. I listen to the BBC or audiobooks. Sometimes I stop for a quick skin. I haven't hit a deer yet. I dropped some donuts off at the factory this week. It was so good to see the boxes moving down the line. These boxes will be houses soon. Everyone's excited about that. I've been working on housing projects for the last five years. In some ways, it feels like the Camino. A long, hard road, and often with a sense of solitude. Even blisters of sorts. The struggle might just be worth it.